Praise the Lord everybody. This is Pastor Darnis Nikon. Here with me is my wife Nuna Nikon. We are very thankful to have this opportunity to share with you a short message for the, the year 2012. We thank God that uh, He has been good to us and has blessed us with uh, so many blessings and has allowed us to be part of what God has been doing. We are going to be sharing with you a few things for the year 2012. These are very important uh, for all of us as we go into this new year. We're going to pray before we go into uh, reading of the scripture. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that there's nobody else but you. You are God of our lives. You have brought us from my long way. Hallelujah. Father, you have been so good to us. Hallelujah. We have what we have today because of your hand, thank you, Jesus. your mighty hand. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you that every blessing that has come to us Bless your holy name. has come from you. Hallelujah. We thank you that, Lord, you have your hand upon us. We pray thank now Jesus. that your glory will fill this place Hallelujah. as we talk and share with your people you, what you have Hallelujah. in store for them. Glory we thank you and Jesus. bless your name. In Jesus' name oh, we pray. Yes, God. Amen. Yes, God. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to be reading from the book of Proverbs chapter 4. Mm. We will be sharing a little bit about uh, the power of wisdom. This is important for the year 2012. We are going to need to exercise more of the power of wisdom. Mm. Wisdom is the principal thing. Yes. In the year 2012, we must increase our use of wisdom, and I'm talking about the God's wisdom. We are going to have to increase the use of wisdom because through wisdom, God's wisdom, we make right decisions. Through wisdom, we escape so many traps of the devil. Amen. The book of Proverbs chapter 4, verse number that's 5, 6, 7, and all the way to verse number 9, we are going to read these are powerful scriptures. Many of you know these verses. Verse number five, get wisdom, get understanding. Forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Yes, God. Ha. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Yes, this is wisdom. It's very important for us to understand that wisdom will preserve us. Yes. Wisdom will keep us. Yes. It continues to say, verse number seven. This is the key verse. Wisdom is the principal thing. Mm -hmm. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Amen. Verse number eight. Exhort her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor. When thou dost embrace her. Mm. Verse number nine. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Mm. Wisdom is so critical. That verse that number seven tells us that in all of your getting, mm. get wisdom, get understanding. Mm. If you ever want to get anything that's important in your life, we go and we search for money. We work hard to get money. But the scriptures are reminding us to work hard and get all we can to exercise the power of wisdom. In Amen. all that we get, we have to get wisdom. Amen. Wisdom is a principal thing. That's why the Bible tells us that even God, mm. as he was creating the word, it was through wisdom. Yes. And we need to understand if God used wisdom mm. in his creation, it is critical for us to exercise 
the use of wisdom to pray and ask God to give wisdom to us every day when we wake up in the morning it is important that we ask for wisdom for daily 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 use because when we get up in the morning we have no idea of what decisions we are going to have to make in that day yes. and if wisdom will be full in us I want you to know that we will be able to make right decision in every single day amen I feel the power of God in this place Hallelujah. From the book of Kings, 1 Kings chapter number 3, verse number 7 all the way to 10, we are going to look at such an opportunity that Solomon had. And he was able to ask God for something so much important that the book of Proverbs tells us the principal thing wisdom Solomon was able to know the importance of wisdom in his leadership mm -hmm. this is important for us as husbands and wives and leaders to understand the importance of wisdom Solomon was the king Solomon knew that wisdom was important to his leadership mm -hmm. I'm going to have my wife read first king chapter number three verse number seven to verse number ten amen now, O oh Lord, my God, mm. you have made your seventh king in place of my father David. My goodness. But I am only a little child. Yes. And do not know how to carry out my duties. Yes. Your servant is here among the people you have chosen. Yes. A, a great people. Two numbers to count on number. My. So give your servant and discernment heart. My goodness. Or wisdom to govern your people and to distinguish between right and and wrong yes for who is able to govern this great people of israel praise god the lord was pleased that solomon had asked for this the lord was pleased that solomon did not ask for anything else but wisdom verse number seven from my translation it says now oh lord my god you have made me the king instead of my father yes. he's appreciating god allowing him to be the king many of us god has allowed us to be leaders in many areas he has allowed us to be leaders in our homes and the very important thing that we have to understand as we go into the new year of 2012 is the power of wisdom how important wisdom is in our lives and we make decisions every day we must be able to exercise God's wisdom Hallelujah. and here we see someone asking for wisdom mm. God was so pleased that he not only gave him wisdom mm. but he also gave him what he did not ask wealth mm. extra blessings mm. People of God, as we go into this new year, let us now go into another level of prayer where we are going to see the importance of prayer, the importance of wisdom. Jesus. We have many people that will go and fast for days, fasting for other things, fasting for financial breakthrough, fasting for a sickness, but we don't find that many people fasting for wisdom. Time has come for the people of God to start praying and fast for wisdom. Ask God for wisdom. Because through wisdom, we can accomplish a lot of things. Through wisdom, God will give us even the things that we don't ask for. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God in this place Hallelujah. right now. Thank and as I Jesus. go into finishing what I wanted to share with you today, God, as he was creating the word, the Bible tells us, he used the wisdom. Mm -hmm. He used the wisdom. If God himself knew the power of wisdom mm -hmm. and had used wisdom, how about us, mm -hmm. the people of God? Many of us have ignored the importance of wisdom. In our marriage, we ignore the importance of wisdom. In our leadership, we ignore the importance of wisdom. In training our children, we ignore the importance of wisdom. But I want you to remember, people of God, time has come that we seek God for more wisdom. As we train our children, as we train our children, as we, we, we lead our home, our, our families, as we lead our churches, as we pray, as we become leaders in our country, in the business, in whatever we do, wisdom. 
time has come. It's an appreciable thing. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God increase you. As we go into this new year, may God hear your prayer Hallelujah. and make you somebody. Yes, may God allow you to see the power of wisdom for his glory and all his glory. Jesus. God bless you. Amen. And we will see you again in 2012. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.